Hello, my name is Andrew Power. My PhD is a joint project between Galway Mayo Institute of Technology, that's where I'm based, the Marine Institute and Birdwatch Ireland. My research is funded by the Marine Institute's Cullen Fellowship. My research topic is on toxic contaminants in seabird eggs in Ireland. I analyse these eggs in Galway for a wide variety of contaminants. Some of these are manufactured contaminants like insecticides, pesticides and some of them are naturally occurring. So if you think of something like mercury, it's a naturally occurring metal but it can exist in higher levels in marine environments due to industrial activities. The reason why we're so interested in these contaminants is that they've been shown to have sub-lethal and sometimes lethal impacts on both wildlife and people, which is why I think this research is not only really interesting but also really important. Higher trophic level organisms, so animals that sit on top of the food web like scavengers and top level predators, are the most vulnerable to the toxic effects of these contaminants. Pollutants in the marine environment are absorbed by organisms and the concentrations of toxic chemicals actually increase as you move up the food web. So seabirds, whales, dolphins and people are the most at risk. This is the abandoned egg of a common tern from Rockville Island in County Dublin. Contaminants found in seabird eggs like this reflect the diet of the adult female seabird that laid the egg. And what's really interesting, and we, why we look at seabird eggs in particular, is that certain seabird species use locally derived nutrients to form the egg. So for example, if I analyse this egg, I would see contaminants that originate from fish eaten by the female common tern close to the breeding colony. So seabird eggs can provide a snapshot of contaminants from a certain place and a certain time, which is really unique. For my research, I'm looking at contaminants in the eggs of three Irish seabird species. So the common tern that I just mentioned is a small and elegant seabird. I'm also looking at the levels of contaminants in gannet eggs. The gannet is Ireland's largest breeding seabird and a true apex predator. I'm also looking at the levels in the common guillemot, which is a black and white seabird that nests on cliffs and rocky islands and is the most abundant seabird in Ireland. Not only am I comparing the contaminant levels between the three species, but also between different colonies, from colonies in the Atlantic Ocean to the Irish Sea, to give us a complete picture of contaminants in seabird eggs in Ireland. My background is in zoology and wildlife conservation. I spent four years prior to this PhD working as a, a seabird warden and a seabird surveyor. So I'm particularly interested in this research from the point of view of seabird health and seabird conservation. But really the most important part of this PhD is that seabird eggs may be used as an indicator of contaminants in the Irish marine environment. Ireland as a member state of the European Union has an obligation to monitor and protect its marine environment in order to achieve good environmental status and I, I believe that my research can help contribute to this. I think my research is important because I think it will shed light on what is an invisible threat not only to seabirds but to the marine ecosystem which we are intrinsically a part of. Mm -hmm.